an introduction to lines. So lines are really useful in mathematics. They're gonna be, you're gonna study them so much that you're gonna really know them super, super well. And this is just an introduction to them. Um, you'll be looking at just what a line is, um, the, the general form of a line, the different forms of a line. You'll only be looking at one in this video. Uh, in future videos, you will be looking at more, more forms of a line. And lines are, I, I can't stress how important they are. They're very, very important. So let's, let's see what a line is. So the general form of a line is y is equal to mx plus b. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to uh, write a function for, for a line, then this would be the form that the function would take. So the, so the, so the, um, so the, this is the form of line. And this, this specific form, this specific form is actually called the slope intercept form, slope inter Except form. So this specific form is a slope intercept. Slope intercept form. So slope intercept form of a line. And this form is just one of the forms. There's another form called the point slope form, and I'll be looking, I'll be covering this in a separate video. Point slope form, it goes like this. It's y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. There's a lot of unknowns you might be seeing, like what is this m here randomly? What is this x, y1? What is this x1? You'll be, you'll be seeing this, you'll be seeing this, you'll be understanding this a lot. Uh, what is this b? You, you'll, you'll be looking at this and you'll be understanding it. Okay, so let's first, let's first look at what a line is. You've probably seen lines before, right? Let me insert a line here. This is just a general line, for example. This is a number line you could think about. Remember when we've seen number lines before? This is just a line. And a line is different than a line segment. A line is, it goes on forever in both directions. Now let's say that this line is horizontal. It doesn't look horizontal, it's kind of sloped, but this, this line, let's say it's horizontal. Right, this is a horizontal line. Horizontal. The slope of this line, and M, and M is actually the slope. M is the slope. And the slope of this line would be Zero. So m in this case would be zero. But if we have a line, let me insert another one. If we had a line that was like this, right, like this, the slope of this line, the slope of this line, and this is not horizontal, but the slope of this line, slope, which is m, would be something positive, some positive number. So some some positive number. And if we similarly inserted a line, something something like something like something something that like looks like this this slope this slope uh, m would be negative since it's going in this direction now what is slope what is slope let me think about it. what is slope slope is essentially um, how how um, in how inclined, I guess you could say, or how yeah, inclined a line is. Okay, so essentially you can think about it like this. So, so for example, I like to give the example of, say if you were sitting on like a slide, right? If the slide was horizontal like this, then you wouldn't, it wouldn't be a slide. You wouldn't go, you wouldn't go through it, right? You wouldn't, or not through it, you wouldn't go down it because it's horizontal. So you would be sitting here and you could, you could walk because because it's you could just walk down it because it's not it's not sloped so you gravity wouldn't act uh, act in the direction of, of this uh, of of motion it wouldn't it wouldn't push you down uh, essentially but if you if you had a slope like this for example right this positive slope and you were sitting here it would go down you would go down because of the uh, gravity because of gravity if you were if it was in this direction this is a negative slope. So it was a negative slope. You, you sitting right here, you would would go down as well, but in this opposite direction. So negative is the opposite direction. It's in this direction. Now, if it if the slope the slope is more, so the inclination is is a little more, right? So it's more inclined. Uh, so say, let me insert another line here. Let me insert another line, and let me show you how this would be. So we inserted another line and say this is another negative slope but it's more it's more the slope it's the slope is more so the inclination is a little bit more inclined so m would still be in this case negative but 
more negative, more negative, a larger negative, more negative. And this would be less negative, less negative. And similarly, if we if we have if we have another line, if we have another line, and it was it was steep like this, then this would have a slope that is still positive, but this would actually be more positive, more positive. This would be less positive. That's the difference. So hopefully you understand what slope is. And uh, that can help you understand what this M portion is right here, this M right there. Now let's look at the B. The B, the B is the Y intercept, the Y intercept. What's an intercept? Well, the intercept is basically a point um, that that we that uh, the uh, the point that uh, the line crosses or the function crosses on uh, one of the axes. Here it's the y-axis, and so if we have a let me draw a quick coordinate plane, something like this. That's not straight enough. I think I'll just insert insert a line. So this is a coordinate plane. We have a vertical line. Um, and I forgot to talk about vertical lines. I will talk about that right after I talk about this. So this is our coordinate plane. You've seen this before, hopefully. And our line would go through like this. And the point where it crosses um, the the x, the y-axis, so this is the y, this is the x, the point where it crosses here, it, it crosses somewhere here. This is, the, this is the point it crosses. This would be the y-intercept. The y-value would be the y-intercept. Intercept. That's the point. Uh, don't get confused with the x-intercept. It's not where it crosses the x-axis, it's where it crosses the y-axis, it's a value, the y-value. X would be zero in that case. As I promised, let's go over what, uh, what, a, what a vertical line would look like. So let's look at a vertical line. Let me actually just do it on this page. So a vertical line, let me do it right here. There's a small line here like this, just like that. This would be a vertical line vertical, vertical line. The slope of this, guess what it would be? The slope actually would be undefined. This, this slope is not, is not zero, because zero is horizontal. This is actually undefined. Um, you can think about it like infinite slope, and infinite, infinity is not a number. And so it, this is actually an undefined slope. So the slope here, so m here, you could say m is infinity, because because think about it, if you were if you were on a if you were on a slide, this wouldn't be a slide. This would be like free falling, right? You would you wouldn't you it would be more of a pole, right? It's not like a, you can't slide down like this. Um, so maybe like if I draw the representation, you are here. It's not a slide anymore. You're not even touching it. You're not touching the surface. You would just go down due to gravity, but you wouldn't you wouldn't be on the slide. So the slope here is actually infinity, or um, I'll just say undefined slope equals undefined. So vertical line, the slope is undefined. Now, in this case, you would actually not have y equals mx plus b form. You would have x equals a certain value uh, on the Cartesian plane. So think about it like that. So that is the introduction to a line. Um, I hope you found this all of this helpful. I have a lot of diagrams and a lot of things here. You can go ahead and replay this video if you wanted to. But I hope you found this video helpful.